You'll have to tell them sometime. I will complete this mission, even if it kills me. The Republic were doing nothing, and with the countless numbers of clones we were losing. So I joined the Mandalorian group. I knew you were a traitor. You did what? The Mandalorians. Those murderers, they're terrorists. Not to mention the fact that they're led by a totalitarian dictator whose one goal is to rule the world with an iron fist. To watch those who stand up against them suffer. And for those who don't, to quiver in fear. Not back then. There was no leader when I joined. No dictator. It was a democracy. All we were trying to do was cut down on the countless number of lives we were losing. The Republic were using us as cannon fodder. And what we were trying to do was to protect our brothers. We supported men on the front lines. We gave shelter and medical aid. Provided covering fire for those who needed to retreat. <laughs> The lies just keep coming, don't they? Okay. Then would you kindly tell us how they got their supplies, their ammo, their shelter? Just keep looking at your feet, Wolf. I'm sure the answers will come to you eventually. But seeing as how you seem to be drawing a blank, I'll tell you how. Stop! I'm warning you! If you say anything! Commander, just, just shut up! Don't tell us you did it for us, for our brothers. Just tell us the truth. I gave you a chance, Wolf. No more lies. The Mandalorian movement got their supplies to the slaughter of civilians who decided to fight against the imminent droid attack. They stole their ammo, their weaponry, their homes, everything. Not only did they take away any chance these people had of defending themselves, but they killed or tortured those who resisted. They pillaged farms, stole from the weak, poor or elderly, and they even threatened children. I gotta give you credit to Wolf. You grew a goddamn conscience and left. But here's the funny part. The Council, they realized your skills in combat, but they knew they couldn't reintegrate you with a fully functioning unit. So they came up with a plan. They gave you a suicide mission, live or die, they didn't care. And with that mission they gave you a false identity and a clean past. Not only has he lied about his own past, but he's lied about yours too. You're not hand-picked soldiers. You're not the best of the best. You're the rejects. You didn't play well with others. You weren't good enough. Either way, you couldn't work on a fully functioning unit. So the council, they patted you on the back, said you were special, and sent you off to die with him as your leader. He needed men, and you were useless to the Grand Republican Army sent off with him on a suicide mission. To be honest, I was impressed. Really, I was. You came closer than we all thought was possible. You almost achieved it too. You did good. But this was always the outcome. Commander, is that true? Look at your squad and tell us the truth. It's true. You can't escape your past, Wolf. Somebody will always, always remember what you've done. Do you want to get home, follow me? Do you want to stay here and die? By all means, stay here with Wolf. Either way, my men are moving out.
Rookie. Move it.